Chapter 64, Target Locked. Recently, Qin Lai had been trying his best to not think about anything related to Ling Yushi and tried to forget about her for now. This was because as soon as he began to think about her, as soon as he began to reminisce, he would find it hard to calm back down and become unable to do other things. But as of right now, the mocking and ridicule of those people had made his memories emerge, causing his heart which had finally calmed down to become agitated again. His expression suddenly became dark and cold. What? Is what we are saying making you uncomfortable? The first martial practitioner to speak had a cultivation at the ninth level of the refinement realm. Previously, he had also been at Ling Town and had seen Qin Lai's battle with Du Heng. Yet he still dared to act so brazenly because his cultivation was a level higher than Du Heng's. Thus, he had no fear as he continued mocking. Nebula Pavilion doesn't restrict people from having personal duels. As long as no one dies or becomes severely crippled, the pavilion generally doesn't care. He stuck out a finger, pointing towards the distant Qin Lai, motioning for him to come over, and sneered, feel insulted? Then come make a move. Boom. As soon as his remark was made, the sound of thunder rumbling immediately emanated over from within Qin Lai's body. In a moment, Qin Lai who had seemed so weak, delicate, and skinny seems to have become another person. A violent, intent surged out of his eyes as strand after strand of fine, blue electric current trapped around his arm like a fine rope. Under the surprised gazes of all of the spectators, Qin Lai suddenly launched an explosive attack. Like a fierce beast hunting its prey, he charged toward the person. Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
Couldn't understand why Kin Lai could accurately pinpoint his location. First it had been the ten lightning bolts, and then it was followed by the thunderous fist which had explosively struck his body out of the smoke. Eh? Hey, Yang lost. Is his smoke cloud art actually unable to confuse that kid? To have been directly sent flying by him. He <laughs> he, it is truly laughable. Interesting. Dot. Mocking expressions emerged on the faces of all of the observing Nebula Pavilion practitioners as they looked at Yang, incessantly laughing. From within the smoke, Kin Lai walked out, his brows furrowing as he stood in front of Yang. If not for Nebula Pavilion preventing people from dying during personal duels, you would have already been killed by me just now. Afterwards, he indifferently swept his eyes over the other subordinates of Duhaitian that had been mocking him with Yang before turning around and walking towards the scripture tower. Ha ha, this kid is interesting. Before, I truly looked down on the people who came from vassal forces. I never thought that this time two interesting ones would appear. One named Jiayu, and this kid. Quite interesting, Amen. However, Jiayu, the kid, is a little bit more powerful. His opponent was Fang Tong, who was at the early stage of the natal opening realm and he completely embarrassed Fang Dong. Indeed, who told Fang Tong to have a cheap mouth and say that Jiayu relied on his relationship with his sister to enter Nebula Pavilion, he deserved his woes. I also never would have thought that although he is at the ninth level of the refinement realm, he would actually be able to surpass Fang Tong and make him look bad. It was truly shocking. Say, what realm is this new kid at? For him to have been able to defeat Yang, he must have at least also been at the ninth level of the refinement realm right? Then between him and Jiayu, who is stronger? Definitely Jiayu. You don't even have to think about it. Could it be that you think he is stronger than Jiayu? It's not that, I believe Jiayu is a little bit stronger. The way that kid looks at others is rather eccentric. He is definitely an extremely ruthless person. Hey, Jiayu and Li Yan are currently within Artifact Tower. Before I came out, I saw both of them. Dot. As Kin Lai walked towards Scripture Tower, a group of Nebula Pavilion's practitioners were all conversing with each other, comparing him with Jiayu. They discussed who would win in a fight between the two of them, eventually unanimously deciding that Jiayu was slightly stronger. However, this made it so that none of them dared to casually provoke either one, Kin Lai. At this time, from the entrance of Artifact Tower, Liu Yan's voice emanated over. Standing beside Liu Yan was Jiao Yu, his eyes indeed sinister and cold. The two of them had originally been within Artifact Tower. Upon hearing the sound of fighting outside, the two of them had walked out, only to see that the fight was over. However, with just a glance, they discovered Kin Lai who was walking towards Scripture Tower. Big Brother Liu, Jiao Yu. Kin Lai stopped in front of the entrance to Scripture Tower, turning his head towards the two as he asked, How come the two of you are also here? We were trying to see if there were any good things within Artifact Tower when we heard the sounds of fighting, so we decided to come take a look, said Liu Yan with a smile. He looked around, glancing in the direction of Yang. Through the eyes that were all still staring in Kin Lai's direction, he suddenly exclaimed, Was it you who fought with Yang? Kin Lai nodded. Ha ha, you and Jiayu, you two brats, are truly prickly. In the three days since Jiayu entered the pavilion, he has already fought a fiery battle with Hall Master Fang Tong, who is under Elder Xing's command. When did you enter? How come you two have already picked a fight? Asked Liu Yan with a weird expression. I just entered today, said Kin Lai, explaining, that Yang's mouth was too cheap and deliberately begged me for a fight. I was only fulfilling his wishes. Ha! Ah. Liu Yan turned his head to look at Yang only to discover that him and the other subordinates of Du Haitian were currently walking away with dark, cold expressions. You and Jiayu are truly of the same caliber, causing trouble as soon as you arrive. Compared with others who came here with their own power, you two are a little bit too conspicuous. Some people's mouths are just too smelly and it causes my skin to itch unbearably. If I don't teach them a lesson, I will feel uncomfortable, said Jiayu with a cold expression, his eyes dark. What Kin Lai did was right. Nice guys are the ones that get bullied. If you behave properly here, it will only bring you trouble. Only if you shatter a few teeth will their mouths be a little cleaner. His sinister eyes swept across the surrounding crowd. Those who he looked at all just awkwardly laughed dryly. It seemed as if they all held some fear towards him. It is good that you came. Otherwise, it would seem rather boring here, said Jiayu, Yu, looking at Kin Lai. With a cold expression, he continued. Last time, we weren't able to say who won and who lost. I will wait for you to break through to the ninth level of the refinement realm, and then we shall fight again. No problem, readily agreed Kin Lai, nodding. Young Master Jiao, forget about it. Don't go around finding trouble for yourself, said Liu Yan bitterly laughing. Last time, you were already at a disadvantage, why can't you remember it? It isn't a problem for you to fight anyone. You were even able to fight Fang Dong. However, against Kin Lai, I advise you to forget about it. This guy's existence is just to restrain you. As soon as his remark was made, all of the nearby Nebula Pavilion practitioners who had yet to disperse all looked towards them with a look of astonishment. Listening to Liu Yan's words, Jiao Yu had actually been defeated by Kin Lai before. How could this be? When they looked at Kin Lai again, they suddenly felt as if Kin Lai was becoming more and more profound and unfathomable, causing them to become more and more afraid to look down on him. 